In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. In the waters of baptism, Bishop Jose died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May he now share with him eternal glory. In baptism, Bishop Jose was clothed with white garment as an outward sign of his Christian dignity. Now he brings that dignity and stained into everlasting life in heaven. Bishop Jose cherished the gospel of Christ. May Christ now greet him with these words of eternal life. Come, blessed my father. In baptism, Bishop Jose received the sign of the cross. May he now share in Christ's victory over sin and death. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the soul of your departed servant, Bishop Jose, to whom you committed the care of your family, may, with the manifold fruit of his labors, enter into the eternal gladness of his Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Ang salita ng Diyos mula sa aklat ni Propeta Ezekiel. Ito ang ipinasasabi ng Panginoon. Ako mismo ang maghahanap at mag-aalaga sa aking mga tupa. Kung paanong hinahanap ng pastol ang tupa niyang nawawala, gayon ko hahanapin ang aking mga tupa. Kukunin ko sila saan man sila itinapon noong panahon ng kanilang kasamaan. Titipunin ko sila mula sa iba't ibang dako upang ibalik sa sarili nilang bayan. Doon ko sila alagaan sa kaparangan ng Israel. 
sa tabi ng mga bukal ng tubig at sa magagandang pastulan. Aalagaan ko sila sa sariwang pastulan, sa tahimik na kaburula ng Israel. Mamamahinga sila sa sariwang pastulan at manginginain ng sariwang damo sa kaburula ng Israel. Ako mismo ang magpapastol sa kanila at hahanap ng kanilang pahingahan. Hahanapin ko ang nawawala, ibabalik ang nalalayo, hihilutin ang napilay, palalakasin ang may hina, at babantayan ang malulusog at malalakas. Ibibigay ko sa kanila ang kailangan nilang pagkain. Ang salita ng Diyos. Salamat sa Diyos. Salamat. Salamat. 
Ang salita ng Diyos mula sa sulat ni Apostol San Pablo sa mga taga-Efeso. Mga kapatid, napakasagana ng habag ng Diyos at napakadakila ang pag-ibig na iniukol niya sa atin. Tayo'y binuhay niya kay Kristo kahit noong tayo'y mga patay pa dahil sa ating pagsuway. Naligtas nga kayo dahil sa kanyang kagandahang loob. Dahil sa ating pakipag-isa kay Kristo Jesus, tayo ay muling binuhay na kasama niya at pinaupong kasama niya sa kalangitan. Ginawa niya ito upang sa darating na mga panahon ay maipakita niya ang di masukat na kasaganaan ng kanyang kagandahang loob sa atin sa pamamagitan ni Kristo Jesus. Dahil sa kagandaang loob ng Diyos, ay naligtas kayo sa pamamagitan ng inyong pananali kay Kristo. At ang kaligtasang ito'y kaloob ng Diyos, hindi mula sa inyo. Hindi ito dahil sa inyong mga gawa, kaya't walang dapat ipagmalaki ang sino man. Tayo'y kanyang nilalang, nilikha sa pamamagitan ni Kristo Jesus upang iyukol natin ang ating buhay sa paggawa ng mabuti na itinilagana ng Diyos para sa atin noon pa mang una. Ang Salita ng Diyos. Salamat sa Diyos. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord.
Jesus said to his disciples, A little while, and you will no longer see me. And again, a little while later, and you will see me. So some of his disciples said to one another, What does this mean that he is saying to us? A little while, you will not see me. And again, a little while, and you will see me. And because I am going to the Father. So they said, What is this little while of which he speaks? We do not know what it means. Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him. So he said to them, Are you discussing with one another what I said, A little while and you will not see me. And again, a little while and you will see me. Amen, amen, I say to you, You will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please remain standing. seated. Kayaan niyo muna pong basahin ko ang um, mensahe ng pakikiramay ng kabuniyang kardinal, Chito Tagling. Sa buong diocesis ng Malolos, sa pamilya at kamag-anak ni Bishop Joey, pinaabot ko ang pakikisa ng Archdiocesis ng Manila at ng inyong lingkod na sa dalamhati ninyo sa kaniyang pagpanaw. Magpasalamat tayo sa Diyos sa panahong nakasama natin si Bishop at sa kabutihang naranasan natin sa kanyang pagkatao at paglilingkod. Salamat Bishop Joey sa pananalig, pagtitiyaga at pagpupunyagi na ipinamalas mo lalo na sa panahon ng iyong karamdaman. Mapayapa kang humimlay sa kandungan ng Diyos. Amen. Cardinal Chito Tagli. Lahat po kayo o halos lahat tayo ay may kopya po nito ang ritual ng ating pong pagdiriwang. Sa ikasyam na pahina po ay nandun ang salmo na ating pong inawit at nais ko pong sa pagkakataong nito ay basahin po natin uli ng sabay-sabay. Masdan mo ang taong di nananalig sa Diyos upang maligtas. Sa taglay niyang yaman ay doon nanangan, kaya napahamak. Kahoy na ulibo sa tabi ng templo ang aking katulad. Nagtiwala ako sa pag-ibig ng Diyos na di kumukupas. Di ako titigil sa pasasalamat sa iyong ginawa. Ang kabutihan mo'y ipahahayag ko kasama ng madlang. Ang salmo pong ito na hinango po sa ikalimamput dalawang salmo, ang kinuha po ay ang ikapito hanggang ikasyam na versikulo. Ito po ay nalikha upang alalahanin ang nangyari sa unang aklat ni Samuel, ang ikadalawamput isa, Hanggang ikadalawampu't dalawang kapitulo, ito po ay ang away ni Saul at ni David. At alam naman po natin kung ano ang naging ugali ni Haring Saul. Dala ng inggit, 
Dala lang napakaraming pagkakataon na di niya matanggap na si Haring David o ang magiging Haring David ay mas tinatanggap na ng mga Israelita. Ang salmo pong ito ay personal na sinambit, inawit, o nilikha ng isang tao. Kaya nga mapapansin ninyo, parang ang pakikipag-usap niya sa Diyos ay isahan. Sa umpisa ay meron siyang paalala sa lahat ng nakikinig ng awit na ito. Sabi nga niya, Masdan mo ang taong di nananalig sa Diyos upang maligtas. Sa taglay niyang yaman ay doon nanangan, kaya napahamak. Pinapaalalahanan niya ang kapwa niya Israelita na huwag magtitiwala sa yaman at sa kapangyarihan. Na huwag magtitiwala sa anumang bagay na di nakaugnay sa presensya ng Diyos. Na kung ang pagtitiwalaan lamang ay yaman at kapangyarihan, saan ito madadala? Walang ibang patutunguhan kundi kapahamakan. Marahil kilala po nating lahat si Bishop Joey. Ang pagtulong niya sa may hirap, ang pagkakawang gawa niya, ang kanya pong pag-aalaala sa pangangailangan ng mga naghihikahos, ay nababalita naman at nahayag. Di man niya ito pinagmamalaki, pero ito ang naging paraan niya upang ang yaman na kanyang tinatanggap ay maging isang instrumento na hindi siya doon nakatoon, hindi siya doon nakaugnay, hindi iyon ang kanyang buhay, kundi ikaw, siya, ay instrumento lamang upang ang yamang ibinigay ng Diyos ay ipamigay at ibahagi upang ito ay hindi ang kaniyang maging kaligtasan ang yaman kundi ang Diyos na nagbigay sa kanya ang maging kaligtasan niya at hindi maging kapahamakan ang kayamanan at kapangyarihan. Marami pong nagsasabing mayaman ang bulakan. Marami pong nagsasabing mapalad ka kapag tagabulakan ka, hindi ka malayo sa Maynila. Maraming nagsasabing ang pagunlad ng bulakan ay hindi na yata mapigil. Mukhang sa amin na dadalin ang airport. Mukhang sa amin na dadaan ng magagandang highway. Mukhang ang pagunlad ay sinusunod na sa daan ng aming lalawigan. Pero hindi ito ang kaligtasan ng lalawigang ito. Kahoy na ulibo sa tabi ng templo ang aking katulad. Nagtiwala ako sa pag-ibig ng Diyos na di kumukupas. Ang pulo ng ulibo, wala man tayo nito sa ating bansa, pero madalas nating ginagamit ang langis nito sa kabanalan maging sa pagkain natin. Alam natin na sa kanila, sa Israel, ito ay puno ng kasaganaan, puno at punong-puno ng larawan ng presensya ng Panginoon Diyos. Kung inyo pong napakinggan at napansin sa salmong ito, saan nakatanim ang puno ng ulibo? Hindi po sa kabukiran. Sa templo po nakatanim. Larawang pong nagsasabi sa atin na ang puno ng ulibong ito, ang ugat ay nasa templo, na ang nag-aalaga ay ang Diyos na si Yahweh. Kaya saan ka nga ba magtitiwala pa kung ikaw ay isang puno ng ulibo na nakatanim sa templo, sa tabi ng templo, na ang ugat mo ay nasa lupa ng presensya ng Panginoon Diyos? Saan ka pa kapag ang Diyos ang magliligtas sa iyo ang Diyos ang nasa tabi mo ang Diyos ang nasa piling mo ang pagibig ng Diyos na kapag pinagtiwalaan ito po'y di kukupas kailanman alam po natin na bagamat marahil kaya nagustuhan ni Bishop Oliveros 
ang salmong ito sapagkat ang kanyang apelido ay nandirito, Oliveros. Ngunit alam din naman po niya na ang kahihinatnan ng paglalarawan ng kanyang apelido ng kanyang buhay sa punong ito na kinuha sa ikalimamput dalawang salmo ay dapat matanim siya sa tabi ng templo. Na huwag siyang aalis sa tabi ng Panginoon Diyos na si Yahweh na siya ay dapat laging nakaugat sa lupa ng Diyos na si Yahweh. Upang laging maging mabunga, upang laging maging kapakipakinabang, upang maging larawan ng kasaganan. Kung ang ating obispo ay naging isang olive tree na larawan ng kasaganaan, marahil nga po, marahil nga po sa kanyang kasaganaan, sa kanyang naisa buhay dito sa diocesis ng Malolos at sa kanyang mga naging misyon sa Quezon, sa Buwak, sa kanya pang mga lugar na pinuntahan, marahil nakita ang kanyang kasaganaan, nakita ang kasaganaan ng hindi ng kayamanan, kundi ng kanyang kabanalan, ng kanyang halimbawa, ng kanyang mga mabubuting binitiwan. Mga kapatid, ipinapaalala rin sa atin na tayo rin may magtiwala sa pag-ibig na ito ng Diyos. Na ang pag-ibig na ito ay sinasalin din sa wikang misericordia. Nagaling din sa wikang Hebreyong kesed na ang awa at pag-ibig ng Diyos ay pinagsalikop na hindi mo paghihiwalayin. Na hindi pwedeng ang kahulugan ng awa ay hindi hahanguin sa kahulugan ng pag-ibig. At ang pag-ibig kung walang awa ay walang kabuluhan. Ito ang pinagtiwalaan ng ating ubispo. Nakahimalay man siya ngayon. Alam pa rin niya na sa kabilang buhay, ang pag-ibig na ito ay hindi na lang niya pinapaliwanag. Hindi na lang niya ngayon sinasabit pinapahayag ang pag-ibig na ito. Ang awa ng Diyos ay hayagan niya na mararanasan. Mukhaan na niyang makikita ang pinagmumulan ng awa at pag-ibig na kanyang pinagtiwalaan. Sa huli, ang sabi ng Salmo, Di ako titigil sa pasasalamat sa iyong ginawa. Ang kabutihan mo'y ipahahayag ko kasama ng madla. Likas po sa ating lahat, na ang tangi na alaala na lang natin ay kabutihan kapag may yumaong kaibigan, kapag may yumaong minamahal, kapag may yumaong isang kristyano. Likas na po sa atin na ang alalahanin na lang ay ang kanyang kabutihan. Ngunit tandaan po natin, hindi lang ang kanyang kabutihan, kundi ang kabutihan ng Diyos na ginawa sa kaniya. Kaya nga, ang salmista ay personal na nagsasabing, hindi siya titigil sa pasasalamat sa ginawa ni Yahweh. Ang kabutihan ng Panginoon Diyos ay ihahayag niya kasama ng madla. Tayo pong lahat ngayon ay nagpapasalamat kasama ni Bishop Joey. Tayo ang madla na sinasabihan na di tayo titigil sa pasasalamat sa kabutihan ng Diyos. Nangaalalahanin natin ay ang kabutihan lamang, hindi ang kasamaan, hindi ang kasalanan, hindi ang kahinaan. Kung sa pagyao ng sang tao ay hindi mo palilimutin ang kanyang kasamaan. Kung sa paglisan ng sang tao ay hindi mo pa rin lilimutin ang kanyang kasalanan. Marahil ikaw man ay ililibing na puno ng kasalanan. Ngunit kapag ang isang ubispo ay ililibing, kabutihan lang ang ating alalahanin. Kabutihan lang ng Diyos ang ating alalahanin. Ito ang ipagpasalamat natin. Ito ang ipahayag natin. Tayong nandirito pa sa sangkalupaan. Samahan natin ang umaawit ng salmo. Ipahayag natin ang kabutihan ng Diyos. Ipahayag natin ang awa 
at pag-ibig ng Diyos. But have she kissed Elohim o lam vayed contido in misericordia day I trust in the mercy and love of God. Nagtitiwala ako sa awa ng Diyos na di kumukupas. Bishop Joey, sa tanahan, tahanan ng Diyos, mabuhay ka magpakailanman. Amen. Please all rise. My dear people of God, I invite all of you to join me in thanking the Father for the gift of life which he had given to Bishop Jose F. Oliveros. Now that he is with the Father, let us thank God for his life, which had become a blessing for us. May you, Lord, Holy Father, be blessed because you anointed your only Son, Jesus Christ, our Messiah and Lord, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, you chose Bishop Jose, our brother from among men, to share in the fullness of the priesthood of Jesus Christ, the Lord, the High Priest, forever. Glory and praise to you, Lord. We glorify you, Father, and we bless you. Because by the grace of the Holy Spirit, you have chosen men to continue to this church to the end of their lives, the office the apostles entrusted to the church. We thank you for Bishop Jose for being faithful in loving and protecting the church. Glory and praise to you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for the gift of Jesus Christ, the teacher, priest, and shepherd. Today, we thank for Bishop Jose. He remained faithful and constant in proclaiming the gospel of Christ and in maintaining the deposit of faith, entire and uncorrupt, as handed down by the apostles and professed by the church everywhere and at all times. Glory and praise to you, Lord. We glorify you, Father, and we bless you through Jesus Christ, the true shepherd. We thank you for Bishop Jose, who was a devoted father, sustaining your people whom you had entrusted to his care. In his life here on earth, he strived to grow more in the likeness of Jesus, the Good Shepherd, who seeks out the sheep who stray and gather them into the fold. Glory and praise to you, Lord. We glorify you, Father, and we bless you, because in Jesus Christ, Son of the Virgin Mary, you have given us the supreme model of obedience, we thank you for blessing us through the life and ministry of Bishop Jose. He was a shepherd to your flock and the high priest blameless in your sight, who ministered to you night and day. May we continue to gain blessing of your favor and offer the gifts of your church. Glory and praise to you, Lord. Look with love, Father, on Bishop Jose, whom you have chosen to be your servant. May his whole life be pleasing to you, a fragrant offering in your sight. 
Keep him close to you always in the kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We humbly beseech your boundless mercy, Lord, that this sacrifice which your departed servant and Bishop Jose, while in the body, offered to your majesty for the salvation of the faithful, may now bring him to your pardon. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For it is at your summons that we come to birth by your will that we are governed by your command that we return in virtue of the law of sin to the earth from which we came. And when you give the sign, we who have been redeemed by the death of your Son shall be raised up to the glory of his resurrection. And so, with the company of angels and saints, as we sing, the hymn of your praise, without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, 
and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, Saint Pedro Calunso, and blessed Paul VI, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Ernesto, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Remember your servant Jose, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that we who, has, who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body, to our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all ages and praise you without end through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live where you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
in misericordia de sa tahanan mo kailan may tiwala ako sa tapat na pag-ibig mo Diyos, pag-ibig mo'y wagas. Kahanga-hanga kailanman. Awa mo'y di magwawakas. Sa sino man ito'y laan. Sa awa at pag-ibig mo, ako'y muling natagpuan. Naibalik sa piling mo, yakap mo at Anong aking ipangangahas? Anong maipagyayap ka? Tanino yaman at lakas? Ikaw ang siyang pinagmula. Sa aking 
aking galing Hindi sa anumang taglay Ako'y inibig mo pa rin sa kabila ng pagsuwa. Please stand. Let us pray. May your merciful kindness, which we have implored, O Lord, benefit the soul of your departed servant, Bishop Jose, that by these sacrificial gifts, he may know the eternal company of Christ in whom he hoped and whom he preached, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Sa pangunguna po ng dubhang kagalang-galang Onesto Onchoco, ang Apostolic Administrator ng Diocese of Malolos, kasalukuyang Ubispo ng Cubao, ang aking sangalan po ng mga pamilya ni Bishop Joey, sa kanyang panganay na kapatid, ang Tita Linda, pangalawa po si Bishop sa magkakapatid, Tito Sonny, Tito Floro, Tita Nene, Tito Monet. Sa kasama din po ang aming kaparian, ang aming mga kapatid na pari sa Diocese ng Malolos. Ay nagpapabot po kami ng pasasalamat sa inyong lahat, sa inyong pakikisa sa misa na ito ng paghatid sa huling antungan ni Bishop Jose ng kanyang mga labi sa paglilibing Una-una, sa naging ating pong punong tagapagdiwang sa misang ito, kay Archbishop Romulo Valles, Presidente ng CBCP, kay Bishop Bartolome Santos, ang Obispo ng Iba, at amin din pong kapatid na pari sa diocese, sa Obispo ng Bishop Joey kay Bishop Marquez, sa kanya mga kapatid na mga obispo na hindi lamang ngayon, kundi na mga nagdaang araw, sa kanyang mga pinanggalingan na diocese, sa Quezon, sa Marinduque, sa kanyang mga kababayan at kamag-anak, lalong higit, mula sa kanyang minamahal na parokya ng Santa Cruz. Sa mga kaibigan, nito mga nagdaang araw ay nagbigay ng panahon, nagpahayag, nagbuhos na kanilang pagmamahal at panalangin mula pa sa iba't ibang mga lugar, sa larangan ng pamahalaan, sa mga parokya, sa iba-ibang mga bikarya, 
sa mga opisyal na pamahalaan sa hindi sa panlalawigan at panlunsod. Sa inyong lahat, lalong higit na naririto po ngayon, ang aming pong lubos na pagpapasalamat sa inyong pakikisa sa araw na ito ng pagpapasalamat sa Diyos sa biyaya ng buhay na pinagkaloob kay Bishop Jose. Papasalamat din po tayo sa Apostolic Nuncio na nagpaabot ng kanilang mga mensahe ng pakikiramay at lalong higit sa ating minamahal na Kardinal Chito Tagle. At sa uli, pagpapasalamat po kay Bishop Jose sa kanyang pagbibigay ng kanyang sarili para maging tunay na pastol, isang obispo na nagmamahal sa amin ng mga pari at lalong higit sa sambayan ng Kristiyano dito sa aming diocese at maging sa mga pinanggalingan niya. Nawa Bishop Joey, silayan kayo ng dakilang habag ng Diyos na inyong sinikap sa inyong buhay na ipamukha sa lahat ng mga tao na inyong nadarama na kahit sa kabila ng inyong karamdaman ay lagi nandun yung inyong ngiti na nagpapadama ng banal na awa ng Diyos sa bawat isa. Maraming salamat po, Bishop Jose. In, domin, in nomine Domini, Amen. Confido in misericordia Dei. I trust in the mercy of God is the Episcopal motto of our venerable brother, His Excellency Jose Francisco Oliveros Didi. He was born in Quezon, Quezon on the 11th day of September 1946. He began his formation to the priesthood in the secondary education at Our Lady of Mount Carmel Minor Seminary in Sariaya, Quezon, and studied philosophy and theology at the Royal and Pontifical University of Santo Tomas Central Seminary. He was ordained to the Sacred Order of Presbyters by His Holiness Pope Paul VI on the 28th day of November 1970, on the occasion of the first apostolic visit to the Philippines. He made further studies in theology at the Facultad Teologica del Norte de España in Burgos, Spain, and finished his doctorate in sacred theology at the Pontificia Universita di San Tommaso, Rome, Italy. He became the rector of St. Alphonsus School of Theology from 1984 to 1992, and the parish priest of San Diego de Alcala Cathedral of Cumaca from 1992 to 2000, concurrent to his office as Vicar General of the Diocese of Kumaka. On the second day of February 2000, he was named and appointed as the second Bishop of Bowak, Marinduque. He was ordained Bishop on the 28th day of March 2000, year of the Great Jubilee, by Archbishop Antonio Franco Didi as principal consecrator with the then Archbishop Gaudencio B. Rosales Didi and Bishop Emilio Marquez Didi as co-consecrators. On August 15, 2003, he was appointed Apostolic Administrator of the Diocese of Pololos and later named Bishop of Malolos on May 14, 2004. On August 5, 2004, he was installed as the fourth residential bishop of the Diocese of Malolos. He governed the local church of Malolos for almost 14 years. While still local ordinary of the Diocese of Malolos, His Excellency was then called to render service for the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines as chairman of the Office on Bioethics. On March 10, 2002, 2012, after a five-year preparation 
Bishop Jose F. Oliveros opened the year-long celebration of the Golden Jubilee of the establishment of the Diocese of Malolos with the theme, Biyaya at Pananampalataya, 50 Years of Transforming Grace and Unwavering Faith. As part of the celebration, he spearheaded the construction of a new diocesan pastoral center, diocesan formation center, and the Jubilee Houses for its shelter program. He also convened the second diocesan synod of Malolos on April 8 to 12, 2013, with the theme, Contemplating the Face of Christ and Proclaiming God's Transforming Grace with Unwavering Faith Towards the New Evangelization in the Diocese of Malolos. During the Jubilee celebration through his efforts, the diocese was granted the conferral from His Holiness Pope Benedict XVI of the canonical crown to the revered image of the Immaculada Conception of the Malolos on March 10, 2012 by the then Archbishop Giuseppe Pinto Apostolic Nuncio to the Philippines. He was greatly joyful with the Episcopal ordination of his formal Vicar General, now Bishop of Iba Zambales, Most Reverend Bartolome G. Santos Jr. Didi, serving as one of the co-consecrators on April 30, 2018. On the eve of his death, he posted on his social media account commenting on the Gospel of the day, John 16, 16 to 20, what is this in a little while mentioned by Jesus in today's gospel? No one knows. What we know is that it will happen sooner or later. We must therefore be prepared at all times to welcome Jesus when he returns. Nobody knew, probably except him, that he would be joining his Lord and Master Jesus Christ swiftly and peacefully. On the 11th day of May 2018, Memorial of St. John of Avila, he went back home to his Creator at the age of 71 after a long battle with adenocarcinoma of the prostate. His life had truly become a witness of a deep trust in the mercy of God. The funeral was, the funeral mass was celebrated by His Grace, Most Reverend Romulo G. Valles, D.D., Archbishop of Davao, and President of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines on the 17th day of May, 2018, and was buried according to the rite of the Holy Roman Catholic and Apostolic Church. His final resting place is at the crypt of the Cathedral Basilica Minore of the Immaculate Conception Malolo City, Bulacan. In witness whereof, we have affixed our signatures this 17th day of May in the year of our Lord 2018, National Year for the Clergy and Consecrated Persons.
please stand for the right of final commendation and committal. Trusting in God, we have prayed together for Bishop Jose, and now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the home that one day we shall see Bishop Jose again and enjoy his friendship. Although this congregation will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ.
Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Jose, in the sure and certain whom that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Jose in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurance of faith. Until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we commit the body of Bishop Jose to the earth, let us comfort each other in our sorrow with assurance of our faith that one day we will be reunited with him. All praise to you, Lord of all creation. Praise to you, holy and living God. We praise and bless you for your mercy. We praise and bless you for your kindness. Blessed is the Lord our God. Blessed is the Lord our God. You sanctify the homes of the living and make holy places of the dead. You alone open the gates of righteousness and lead us to the dwellings of the saints. Blessed is the Lord our God. Blessed is the Lord our God. We praise you, our refuge and strength. We bless you, our God and Redeemer. Your praise is always in our hearts and on our lips. We remember the mighty deeds of the covenant. Blessed is the Lord our God. Blessed is the Lord our God. Almighty and ever-living God, remember the mercy with which you grace your servant Bishop Jose in life. Receive him, we pray into the mansions of the saints as we make ready our brother's resting place. Look also with favor on those who mourn and comfort them in their loss. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to Almighty God our brother Bishop Jose, and we commit his body to the ground, earth to the earth, ashes to ashes, Thus to thus. The Lord bless him and keep him. The Lord make his face to shine upon him and be gracious to him. The Lord lift up his countenance upon him and give him peace. Almighty God, through the death of your son on the cross, you destroyed our death through the, his rest in the tomb. You hallowed the graves of all who believe in you. And through his rising again, you restored to us, restored us to eternal life. God of the living and the dead, accept our prayers for those who have died in Christ and are buried with him in the hope of rising again, since they were true to your name on earth. Let them praise you forever in the joy of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us take our brother Jose to his place of rest. Christ, the Lord. 
Sancti Angeli et Archangeli. Set can Said we do Omnes Sancti et Sancte Dei. Propitius Per 
nativitatem tua. Per crucem et passionem tua. Per mortem et sepulturam tua. Per gloriosam resurrectionem tua. Per admirabile macensionem tua. Per gratiam Spiritus Sancti Paracliti. Brother Archbishops and Bishops, please join me in blessing our people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Mm.